Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial in the Bootstrap Free series and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at setting up a project. I bet you're very anxious to start coding, fear not, that is exactly what this tutorial is about. Though this tutorial and pretty much the rest of the series will be done on a Mac, it is completely valid for Windows and Linux. As we have mentioned before, if you are doing this series, we recommend that you feel comfortable with HTML, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery. If you feel comfortable with them for your respective platform, you'll be all good to go with Bootstrap with this series. First thing we need to do is go ahead and download Bootstrap free. To do that, let's go to Bootstrap. The easy way to get to it is to type it into Google. And then get bootstrap.com. And here, so I want to click on download Bootstrap. And there's a few versions that are available to download. To keep it simple, you want the compiled and minified CSS and JavaScript version, aka this one here, download Bootstrap. And then we're going to set it up. I've already downloaded it. So I'm not going to be downloading it. It's my version is right here. So actually, yes, yeah, play this here, and now let's just extract this. Now let's take a look at what is provided by Bootstrap. So we have the CSS files. We got Bootstrap theme, Bootstrap CSS. We got CSS map. A lot of this stuff we we don't need to worry about it. that's the great thing about using a tried and tested framework like bootstrap we just include the required files and we start coding and in terms of fonts we got some glyph icons and then in the javascript we've got the well the bootstrap javascript files so what we're going to do is open up a text editor the one i'm going to be using is sublime text this is an amazing free text editor but you can use Notepad++ if you're on Windows. Actually, this is supported on Windows as well, but there are other ones as well. So what we're going to do, first of all, is just save this as, if we just go to our desktop, in dist, and I'm going to actually, before I save it, I'm going to rename dist to, I don't know, um, I'm, I'm going to call it boot, Wrap tutorial. I'm gonna put a dash there just to make things a little nicer. Now, now, now we'll save it into Bootstrap tutorial folder. It's gonna call it index.html. Again, if you're comfortable with web development like HTML, CSS, and so forth, you should already know what I'm doing here. And now, what we're gonna do is just set up our page. We're gonna do doc type. And now what we're going to do is HTML language equals English. And inside here, we're going to do a head tag. And inside the head tag, what we're going to do is meta char set, which is the character set, equals UTF-8. And now we're going to do another meta tag, so it's going to be meta HTTP dash equivalent or equiv equals quotation marks, and it's going to be x dash ua dash compatible, and it's in the next part is content equals i e equals edge. And now we're going to do another meta tag. Actually, one second, let us indent these. And the final meta tag is name equals viewport. And for the content, it's going to be width equals device width, comma, initial dash scale equals one and now we have our meta tag set up it's going to put a title so title and in here I'm just going to put bootstrap tutorial this is what just appears at the top in the browser which you'll see in a moment and the next thing we're going to do is it's going to do a comment bootstrap now it's going to link the CSS style sheet, so href equals CSS forward slash bootstrap.min.css. So we're just using a minified version, and 
it's a style sheet. So the next thing we're gonna do is HTML5 chairman respond.js for IE8 support of HTML5 elements and media queries. Okay, so we're going to do is now another comment, just say warning colon respond.js doesn't work if if you view the page via file and now the next part is another comment this is going to be if it i nine and now what we're going to do is just link up the source file for http s colon forward slash forward slash this is quite a lot to take in don't worry there will be links in the description max dot cdn no it's max cdn dot com forward slash html5 shiv forward slash 3.7.2 forward slash html5 shiv dot min dot js and we're just going to end the script tag so this is a file then we're going to do another script tag and we're going to just copy and paste this and just change what we need to do. So it's ask maxidn come and here it's going to be respond. And then we're going to do 1.4.2 respond.min.js. Now the next part is just going to be ending this, so it's going to be end if okay that is the head all set up now we can just deal with the body so body again a lot of sorry, it, this is pretty much just why it's provided by bootstrap on that website so you don't really need to deal with this too much and what we're going to do now is just h1 and in here it's going to put hello world and at the bottom of the body tag we're just going to put another comment of so jquery necessary for bootstraps javascript plugins so let's just include the javascript file that we need so it's going to be source equals http f colon forward slash forward slash ajax dot google apis dot com forward slash ajax forward slash libs forward slash jquery forward slash 1.11.1 forward slash jquery dot min dot js forward slash yep that looks a-okay to me and now the next part is another comment and for this we're going to do include all compiled plugins below or include in indiv yeah, in individual files as needed and now the next part is another script tag 
for this is going to be source equals js for slash bootstrap so this is a local file the bootstrap javascript that i showed you earlier in this tutorial and now we, the body has been ended so the html let's save it and run it hopefully we haven't missed out anything or spelled anything incorrectly okay it looks a okay let's just inspect the element again it looks fine and i'm just going to do one quick last check and let's run it through the w3 validator so you can check everything a okay so file upload choose file go to desktop bootstrap tutorial it's just because obviously there's quite a bit of code there it's gonna uh, yeah it's passing so all tags were closed and all the basic stuff was all good you may be thinking that this doesn't look so amazing all that code just for this and there's nothing really happening and you're right but it is the starting point for your amazing responsive website you've got to start somewhere we have the foundation set up now and over the next few tutorials, actually over the rest of this series pretty much, we'll be looking at the different elements you can do, the way um, Bootstrap handles responsive design and how to actually implement all of that. Actually one thing I've just noticed, I put if I zero instead of nine. So my bad, that is my bad indeed. Just bear in mind the JavaScript plugins will require jQuery to be included, which is included right here. But in case you fancy just removing this, just bear that in mind. The next tutorial will cover implementing a grid system. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on the video, or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.